So, Darren, well done tonight. That's uh, I make it three wins and a draw since the Notts County game, which you must be very pleased with. But it took its time coming, didn't it, tonight? Yeah, it did. It was, um, I went through my normal childish um, tantrum period during the second half. Um, but, no, look, good persistence from the players. I thought they played very well second half. I thought we were structurally, in terms of organisation, first half, I thought we were excellent. Second half, we just added an another layer and because of the the physical levels of our team you know we, we're, we're tough late on to play against um, because we're still going so strong um, and I, like I said I thought we deserved to, to win the game I know it's only 1-0 but it was quite comfortable 1-0 really in terms of what Yeovil um, didn't do around our area um, and when they did I thought like I said first half they probably had more moments around our penalty box but I thought we defended those situations very very well and you had to ring the changes. James Daly was uh, suspended and Jamari came in, which is a different sort of makeup, isn't it? Having a, a bigger man up front. Win. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think, you know, Jamari's a young centre forward. Um, I think he'd have, he'd have seen today the, the realities of senior football and the physical output that is expected of them. And if he goes back into play for Reading in the Championship, those those physical outputs only get higher and, and bigger um, so you know that, that that's a big learning curve for the for, for that young man um, Jamari doesn't play like a big centre forward just because he's tall he doesn't have that um, like the Yeovil 9 that uh, willingness or um, uh, education yet to deal with high balls and how he flicks it on and manipulate Armand's very good at it but he's He's played for an extra, I think, 14 years on Jamari, so you can see where, where that experience comes from. But, no, we had, to, we had to make changes, and for the first time, we really had no Y players um, uh, to, to select, which meant our, our game was very centrally focused. Um, but I felt very comfortable with Kellerman and St Anderson. And, you know, yeah, yeah, they were it's, um, they're, they're powerful chaps. You know, all three of them. Um, I was very confident that we would, at some point, almost break the door down, whether it be in a graceful, aesthetically pleasing way, or you know, we just get there. However, and um, and in the end, we did that. Uh, that the goal came at the period though where I thought we played our best football. So it's a pleasing win. I, I don't care how they come. I just want to win. And obviously, you were at Yeovil, so. I don't know what feelings that brings, but it's um, what were your feelings there? Just in, in, what's it like playing a club that you, you want to be? <laughs> you want to be? I want to be everyone. Yeah. I still want to. I still want to beat my nine-year-old when we go and play football. Winning is winning, and and, and the big mistake winners say or use is that they are winners, and then they pick and choose when they want to win. Yeah. And that's not a winner. So if I'm going to consider myself a winner, I have to choose that mentality every day um, and uh, every um, contact moment that I have with my team has to be about winning. This game's about winning points. You win 3-0, you get three points. You win 1-0, you get three points. Yeah. You know, you get no more for scoring more. But you, you definitely get zero when you, when, you don't, you know, when, you, when you don't win the game. So the mentality of the game was and I actually made a point to the to the players before the game this is not about me this is not about Yeovil this is not about Woking and Yeovil this is this is a game a game where we have to win or we have to try and win and we have to behave in a certain way in order to give us the best chance of winning and when you know now that I've used that term it's very appropriate our behaviour in terms of our winning behaviour tonight was was excellent and the persistence around taking those chances was excellent whether it's Yeovil Notts County Oxford I just want to win the, the, on the night the unfortunately the badge has no significance to me in terms of the opposition not, not us the, the opposition and um, I just want to I want them points and, and um, had a brilliant brilliant up and down three years at Yeovil, some of the toughest times in my life, 
um, and I've got a very good relationship with the supporters and because of the way I've been brought up I try to show them respect at the end in the same way I show I try and show a huge appreciation and respect every game for our supporters and finally on tonight's match I mean it- I know, I know you expect this and you demand it anyway. But what struck me was it was a naught to ninety minutes. I mean, they were running as hard, despite frustrations of missing chances. They were giving it their all down to the last two or three minutes, weren't they? They'd... Yeah, there was a real significant moment um, in that second half where um, the players and we speak about this a lot. And it's you always, as a coach, want to be consistent with your messages because you want them to be able to think about it under pressure during games. Therefore, I have to do less. They can feel empowered and do more. And it was a really great moment where uh, we had a goal kick and Scott Cuthbert and McNerney and Casey and Moss just dropped right into the penalty area and we played three or four passes across the back four and it almost triggered us into that phase of possession which, especially when Jack came on, saw us have a lot more possession and a lot more purposeful possession. Um, And that was really pleasing to see that the players, without my command, are making those decisions now. So that's um, that's a good place to be, I think, as a coach. Exactly. And finally, just as a reminder to fans, it's not Saturday, it's Sunday coming up. It's not three o'clock, it's two o'clock. But uh, FA Cup game against Oxford, I know you won't have been thinking hugely about that yet, but uh, it's good to to be bringing league, league opposition here, isn't it? Yeah, it's good to be in the competition. It's nice to play good sides and work against good coaches, and Carly's certainly that. And um, we'll attack it in the same way we try and attack everyone and try and win. Bring it on. Great. Okay, thanks, Darren, for your time. Tommy.